Welcome to the Moose's LZ Bar and Girl Weekend Wrap, where we highlight a few of the storylines that occurred in sprint car racing over the weekend. Before we get to those storylines, don't forget to check out Moose's LZ Bar and Grill in Jonestown, PA for great food at a great price. You won't regret it. Lance DeWeese has flown under the radar a bit this season because of the exploits of Anthony Macri and Brent Marks, who have teamed up to record 40 wins and a little over a million dollars in earnings between them. On Saturday night, though, DeWeese took his spot at the head of the table when he captured the 60th annual Williams Grove National Open. It was his fifth win in the event, which puts him second on the all-time win list behind Donnie Schatz, who has six, and it also earned him a hefty $75,000 for a crown jewel win, which no doubt will take him into the offseason. The bigger storyline for me, even bigger than his win in the event, was what we said afterward. In an interview with me, he said that he has no plans to quote-unquote retire anytime soon, and in, he's having the most fun he's had in 10 to 15 years in this sport. The schedule also suits DeWeese. Not only does it allow him his 57-year-old body to recover, less chance to get injury, he also gets a chance to enjoy his son's racing and while performing at a high level on his own. This season, DeWeese has beaten the World of Outlaws three times, and he has 10 wins overall, which if you're paying attention to sprint car racing and the direction of the sport, double digits isn't something that's a com that's commonplace at this point. He has five straight, even more, or I should say even more impressive, is his five straight wins at Williams Grove Speedway. And it shows me this Central Pennsylvania legend isn't done by any means, and I expect plenty more wins in the future. Speaking of DeWeese, I've been critical of the Pennsylvania Posse and the performance of the locals against the World of Outlaws over the last five seasons. Because of DeWeese, Anthony Macri, and Brent Marks, I've kind of reevaluated the numbers or looked at the numbers this year, and I have to give the hometown crew plenty of props. By virtue of DeWeese's win at Williams Grove Saturday night, the posse has whipped the world of outlaws six of nine races in the mid state this season and has an advantage in every statistical category that really matters in this rivalry. I should note that the one win that didn't go to either the outlaws or the posse was Kyle Larson at Port Royal Speedway in July. Not only have the locals won 60%, 66% of the races, they have a hefty 16-8 advantage in podium finishes, not counting unaffiliated drivers. In regard to top five finishes, the Posse holds a 22-20 lead over the traveling band, which is alarming. Most of the damage, like I said, has been done by the trio of Brent Marks, Lance DeWeese, and Anthony Macri. They have combined for all six wins, 13 podiums, and 17 top five finishes in those nine shows. That's impressive, and it shows the Posse's heavy hitters have stepped up their game and could be a handful for years to come. We're going to go to the West Coast now and the Trophy Cup. And as good as the Central PA contingent was last weekend at Williams Grove yet again this season, the California drivers couldn't crack victory lane at the Trophy Cup, one of the most prestigious 360 events in the country. Ryan Timms earned the win Thursday with Tyler Court Courtney invading and conquering Friday's main event, albeit in a West Coast car that works limited number 57 with Paul Silva wrenching. In Saturday's finale, Zeb Wise got a much needed win, earning his first victory since joining Rudine Racing back in July. The saving grace of the weekend for the California contingent was Shane Galvin. The Matt Wood Racing driver saved the day for the for the the locals by winning the trophy cup title with three top five finishes including a 20th to third place run on saturday night he is the only california driver really the only driver in all in the trophy cup field who had three top five finishes should also be noted his heat race performances probably helped him more than anything because he was able to pass a lot of cars in his heat races and position himself in main events Golubic has earned the label of Mr. Consistency, which has helped him to three Trophy Cup titles despite not winning a main event during that stretch. He stays out of trouble, 
He keeps his nose clean and he waits for other drivers to make mistakes while not making him on his own. There's uncertainty as to what will happen with Matt Wood racing in the future, but I wouldn't be surprised if Golovic wins another title, regardless of what car he is sitting in, or if he's in a Matt Wood machine with a, another uh, crew chief as his, his brother Dustin is, as he put it, going into the real world. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Moose's LZ Bar and Grill Weekend Wrap. For more coverage of sprint car racing ac across the country, check out sprintcarunlimited.com. We have weekly results, features, po a weekly podcast, and much more. A yearly subscription is $35. A six-month subscription is $30. And a three-month subscription is $18. Stay tuned to more coverage this week, and we'll be back with another edition of the Moose's LZ Weekend Wrap.